All right, Fox of Health News. Experts warn bed bugs have favorite colors like red, and they're also becoming more resistant to insecticides. Yes, joining us now is Fox 5 medical contributor, Dr. Debbie Nampia Parampal. So I'm never wearing red again, basically, <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, it Keep probably, moving if you do. Yeah. It probably won't affect us unless we have bed bugs around us, right? But this was a pretty creative study. So these researchers took these bed bugs and put them in these Petri dishes in the lab, right? And each Petri dish had these different tents of different colors, bugs size tents so the bed bugs actually prefer the ones that were red or black compared to uh, other colors uh, okay yeah so it makes you wonder why would they care right why would they care about color so there's a couple reasons I mean when they're adults and they get filled with blood from sucking on mm. human beings or yes. other animals, right? That they might be able to camouflage themselves better in these darker oh. colors, oh, right? Okay. And especially if you're trying to look under your mattress or look at the sheets, if your sheets are bright white, you're probably going to notice them a little bit more easily than if your sheets are dark, right? right? So lighter colors they stay away from, right? They tend to. I mean, the other thing is also with white it, perhaps it gets hotter when it's in the sunlight or through the light compared to black. Mm. And for these smaller bugs, maybe it makes a difference. So okay. they don't like that. Uh, and they're getting more warm. resilient, too. Exactly. Their scary. shell is getting thicker, which is maybe, I don't know, I wonder if this is like super bugs, right? Where we use a lot of different antibiotics and then we have some bugs that get resistant. So in the same way, we are using more pesticides in general. So maybe, you know, these bed okay. bugs are learning yeah. how to adapt to that. So, you know, for the most part, we should be okay. But hey, uh, any, any information any we can use to outsmart <laughs> the bed bugs exactly. is good. <laughs> and researchers say it's more important to focus on eating healthy than just limiting junk food, which is important important because I think there's a lot of pressure there to stay away from the, the naughty foods, right? I agree with you. I mean, I think it's actually, though, probably a little bit of both, right? Yeah. So in this study, they looked at thousands of people, and they actually surveyed them to see what they were doing, what their healthy habits were in terms of their diet. Mm -hmm. And the ones who scored higher on their Mediterranean diet, so we're talking about olive oil, maybe mm. some red wine, things like that, they tended to do better uh, in terms of their heart attack risk. But, uh, but, you know, it's a survey, so we don't know what else people do, right, or what right. other healthy habits they have. So it goes along with a lot of the research that healthy habits do protect you. So red wine can protect from heart disease. Garlic is also protective in terms of your cholesterol and other things. But probably unhealthy behaviors matter too. Right. <laughs> right. It does seem like a lot of those rich indulgent foods might make you full. That's the whole hook of the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense. You know, it seems like anything that's based on depriving yourself is, is bound to fail in the end. So yeah. just kind of, you know, so. everything I think in so. moderation. Exactly. Yeah. And so the study did support that idea that even if you have a little bit of unhealthy food, it's your overall balance that tends to matter. Right? Gotcha. All right. Thank you, Dr. <laughs> Debbie.